you were the first person to sail solo, nonstop, no ports around the world. The question most people who are watching this have is, why? Why try and climb Mount Everest? Mm -hmm. It's because the challenge is there. And I think once the challenge is in your mind, if you don't do it, someone else will think of it and do it. So you sort of say, hey, I'm just going to do that. Okay. After all, you know, there's what, six billion of us on this planet now, perhaps a bit more. Nice to be able to say, hey, I was the first to do something. How long did it take to uh, navigate the, uh, the globe solo with no stops? It took me 312 days. Uh, which... I, I'm pardon me, I thought you said 312 days. I did say 312 you, days. You were out there yeah. all by yourself. Yep, 312 did, days. Did, in those days, did you have radio contact? Well, I did for two months and then the radio broke down. I could receive information, but I couldn't transmit. That's a long time. Well, forgive me for stating the obvious. That's an awfully long time to be out there all by yourself. But you're busy. You've got a lot to do. Um, you've got to keep the boat going. You've got repairs to do. And after I passed Australia, I had no self-steering. That broke. So I was spending 16 hours a day steering. So, you know, you're busy. You've got lots to do. You didn't have GPS in those days. No, satellites hadn't arrived. So, so how are you navigating? Sextant, kilometer, and the tables. So as hard as it is for somebody to do it today, I mean, it was, I mean, it was a real accomplishment. Not to take anything away from modern day people who've done it. It's a different world today. Um, you know, that's all we had in those days. Someone once said to me, didn't you miss GPS? And I said, no. <laughs> and they said, why not? I said, because it hadn't been invented. I didn't know about it. Right, right. I mean, right. I was used to using a sextant. That was my job. I'm a professional navigator. And so for me, that was like having scrambled eggs for breakfast, for goodness sake. Right.